I know you're searching for a sunscreen and you actually find a lot of different types, especially if you're into Korean K-beauty brands and skincare. You may be wondering, physical or chemical? Cushion, spray, cream, bar, sunstick? Like, which one to choose? What does SPF and pay a plus 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 thing mean? What is each one for and which one will be the best for me? and my skin. If you're wondering all of these things, stay here with me in this video because I'm going to show you and explain all of these different sunscreen types so you can make the right decision for you. And I'm going to explain this in a very simple and quick way for everyone to understand, so no worries. Okay, so let's start with the basics. What's the difference between physical and chemical sunscreen? So chemical sunscreen absorbs into the skin and then absorbs UV rays converts the rays into heat and releases them from the body. The active ingredients of the chemical sunscreen are avobenzone, octinoxate, and oxybenzone, sorry for my bad pronunciation. And physical sunscreen sits on top of the screen and reflects the sun's rays. And the active ingredients are titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. So basically, there are just two different types to repel the sun rays. One absorbs the UV rays into your skin and the other one repels the UV rays from your skin. And now let's talk a little bit about the pros and cons of each one. So physical sunscreen is less irritating and best fit for sensitive skin, more moisturizing which can feel heavy on the skin. For example, that's something that I love but my mother for some reason hates it and difficult to fully blend into the skin. However, newer brands nowadays, most of them I will say, offer matte and tinted versions if you that have less white cast if white cast is something that you don't like. Now chemical sunscreen is a better option for you if, if you are swimming and need a water resistant formulation. If you play sports and you sweat a lot during the day, and if you want a sunscreen that absorbs into the skin immediately, because chemical sunscreens start working immediately once you apply it into the skin, while physical sunscreen it is recommended to apply it at least 20 or 30 minutes before you leave in the house. And another important point here is that some people say that chemical sunscreen are bad if you have acne prone skin or sensitive skin. Like it can cause more pimples or irritation on your skin. But you know, at the end of the day, every skin is different. Every skin is a whole different world. So what I would recommend is to go and get a few samples of both different types, physical and chemical sunscreen, and try each one of them for one week so that you can see how your skin reacts and which one you like more etc but in general if you have acne prone skin or sensitive skin i will definitely recommend you to go and get a physical sunscreen me for example i always use physical sunscreens but if for example i'm going to the gym or i'm going to the beach which i'm lying because i never go to the beach or i don't know i'm dancing outside i will probably use a chemical sunscreen just for that specific occasion now what does spf and the plus 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 thing means it means sun protection factor and be very careful with this one because most of us think me included some years ago then, for example, a 10 or 15 SPF will protect you less than, for example, a 15 SPF. Like, you will get more tan using a 10 SPF, and that's not true, because they protect you all equally. What SPF really means is the relative measurement for the amount of time that the sunscreen will protect you from UV rays. And yes, there is a small difference in the protection percentage of each one, but in general, they will protect you the same. What you have to be aware of is time. So factor 30 will protect you about 300 minutes. Of course, all of these measurements are relative. So how long does factor 50 last? It will last 500 minutes. 10 fact factor 10 will last 100 minutes. And 15, 10, I don't know what I'm saying. Factor 10 
100 minutes and factor 15 will last 150 minutes and so on if you are going to only stay home you can use 10 or 15 one if you are going out just for some hours go for 30 and if you are going out for a long period of time go for 50. i always use 50 spf anyways but in general no matter which one you're using because UVB rays will never be filtered completely, so that's why it is so important to reapply your sunscreen every two hours. That's what expert says. Do I reapply mine every two hours? No. Should I? Yes. But I do it? No. I'm being honest with you guys. Whenever I'm outside, I can't remember every single time every two hours. Yo, you have to reapply, you reapply your sunscreen, you have to reapply your sunscreen. It's impossible for me. I'm just doing my stuff, I don't know, talking with my friends, whatever, and I can't remember every two hours. But I will definitely try to reapply it every time I can remember. But it's totally fine, so don't get crazy about it. You can reapply it every four hours or five hours. That's nothing wrong with it. And final point about the sunscreen basic information before starting to show you all the products. What about UVA and UVB? What that means? Well, UVA stands for ultraviolet A and UVB, of course, stands for ultraviolet B. So UVB rays affect the skin's surface and cause sunburn which you can see and feel, but their damage also causes skin cells to become abnormal. While UVB-A rays... I just said UVB-A? What the...? While UVA rays penetrate deeper into the skin, damaging everything in their path, including the vital supportive substances that the skin needs to look young and healthy. In case you're wondering, yes, both of them, UVA and UVB, cause skin cancer, so you definitely have to protect your skin from both. So the final question for my K-beauty lovers, what PAE++ thing means? It is the UVA protection. So if you see PA+, that means that it have just some UVA protection. And if you see PA++++, that means that it have very high UVA protection. Basically, the SPF thing stands for the UVB protection and the PA++ thing stands for UVA protection so that you are being protected from both. I basically always use Korean sunscreen brands because they almost all their brands have the SPF and the P++ thing so that you are being protected from both and they have very high levels. So basically, whatever sans Korean sunscreen that you can find, you can see that they have SPF 50 and PA++++. Because we all know that Asian beauty standard stands always for having white skin, pale skin, look young and glowy and healthy and of course that means that you have to protect your skin well every single day from the sun like i don't care if outside is raining or snowing you have to use your sunscreen every day because let me tell you something if you are one of those person that think oh but having tan skin and not wearing screen, uh, sunscreen every single day is not a big deal let me show you some photos and maybe seeing these photos will change your mind the sun will not only destroy your collagen but it can create wrinkles freckles melanoma skin cancer, sunburn, dry skin, and many more negative effects. It can make you look at least 10 years older. And trust me guys, this is a real thing. Because whenever I see a lady who looks way more older than she actually is, and she has a lot, a lot of wrinkles, I ask her and most of the times it is because she worked outside under the sun all her life, because she goes to the beach and don't use sunscreen or because she smokes or all the three at the same time. 
So please, you have to properly take care of your skin now. Not only for looking younger or whiter or beautiful or whatever, it is for your skin's health. So please, you have to take it seriously and start from today. Okay, and now that we are aware, I hope, of the importance of the sunscreen, let's see which one you should choose. And let me turn on my lights because it's getting darker outside. Okay, better, I guess. So let's start with the classical one, shall we? So the first one is cream type. This is supposed to be your main sunscreen, the one that you use every day. And you should apply it at the end of your skincare routine. For this occasion, I have two of them. And I always use the highest protection level, always, no matter the sunscreen. So all my sunscreens are 50 SPF and PA++++. And this is my favorite sunscreen ever, guys. I think I will make a separate video only for this sunscreen because I've been using only this one daily for more than four or five years now. And it is worth every penny for me. As azul and mild as an active ingredient, it is a ton of cream and a primer and a sunscreen all at the same time. And it's so, so moisturizing. I just love it. Then we also have this one that I also like it so much. Both are physical sunscreens, by the way. I'm using the purple one whenever I go out and I will stay a long period of time outside only for my face. And then this one, I'm using it only for staying at home for my face, my neck, and my hands sometimes. These are like a moisturizing cream, basically. There are a lot of different types, textures, white cast, no white cast, ton up creams, um, primer types, mm, foundation mixed types. Personally, I will use only these two for face. And for body, I have this one, which is from the brand Hawaiian Tropic, which is my favorite one when it comes to sunscreen for body. It is also 50 SPF and it have UVA and UVB protection as well. And it's so, so moisturizing. It's literally like a moisturizing cream. Next is spray type. If you are a little bit lazy, you can use spray type. This one specifically is for face and it is for reapplication. I like to carry this one in my bag because as you can see, it's so small and so portable. So that way I'm not that lazy to reapply my sunscreen every time I'm out because yes, I'm so lazy because you know, I just take it out of my bag and just tsst, and that's it. This one is from La Roche-Posay and it's my favorite one because it's so light so moisturizing and so important, non-sticky. I also have a spray type for body and it is also from Hawaiian Tropic brand. I don't have the spray right now here with me now because I'm on vacation and I just uh, have this one. That's my favorite spray ever for body sunscreen. I will let you an image here. And by the way, you have all the links of the products that I'm going to show you today in the description down below in case you want to buy one of them as well. And no, none of them are sponsored. This is like just my true opinion, choice and recommendation for you. As you can see, I always use Hawaiian Tropic for body and it is because it's perfect. It is so, so moisturizing. Like it is maybe the most moisturizing sunscreen ever. And guys, it's not sticky. That's so important for a sunscreen. It's not sticky. And it also smells well because it is not a good feeling, at least for me, when you're wearing sunscreen and somebody touches my hand or my legs and are so sticky and you know just but whenever i'm using this sunscreen my legs will look perfect and shiny and soft and if you touch them it's like so soft it's not sticky it's like if you are wearing just a moisturizing cream so i can thank enough this brand for existing because unlike most sunscreens are so sticky and dense and they don't even smell well so finally i found mine I've been using this one for more than five years already and of course I'm not going to change it. Next is cushion type. It is a normal sunscreen but in a cushion format. As you can see it is basically like a cushion foundation but you don't have foundation inside, you have 
sunscreen. This one is from Romand, which is... It, is, it smells so well. This is one of my favorite Korean brands as well. It is so cute. And I love this one, guys, because if you know me, at least a little bit, you already know that I like tone-up creams. And this one is sunscreen and tone-up cream at the same time. Same like this one. So whenever I'm reapplying, this one is also for reapplication. It will create that tone-up effect that I love. So for me, it's perfect. I think they also have another version that is not done up in case you want it so you can use cushion sunscreen as your main sunscreen if you want to but i like to use this one as for reapplication because you just have to do tap 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 in your skin so that will not wipe off all my makeup i will do tap tap just here and here and here especially in this area and here and that's it. So then we have sunsticks. So pathetic that I can even open it. And I personally don't like sunsticks for face. First of all, because it feels so sticky for me. Maybe you find another brand that is not that sticky like this one. This one, for example, is from a Beep brand. And I don't know, I just feel that it's so sticky and I don't even like the smell. And second, because if I'm outside and I'm wearing my makeup, you know, I'm wearing my concealer, my blush, my contour, whatever, if I have to reapply my sunscreen using a stick, I have to do it like this, right? So that will wipe all my makeup off. So I personally only use sun sticks for the body because it is so small, so portable, it's so easy, so fast, uh, especially for hands. If I'm outside, I just have to, you know, for neck. And that's it. And finally, I swear this is the last one, bars, all buns, however you want to call it. Again, for reapplication, just another sunscreen, but in bar format. Quite similar to sunstick, I will say. I personally use it only for face. I like it way more than sunsticks for some reason. Don't know why, because they are quite similar. Maybe because it doesn't feel so, so sticky like sunsticks for me. And because look at this, like it is so small and so portable, so cute. So you can carry it with you in your bag or whatever. I always use this when I'm carrying with me a very small bag and I like to use it especially for this area since we have a very very thin skin there and it can be easily pigmented and I don't like freckles. It is of course SPF 15 and PA++++. It has blackberry extract, it is vegan and it is a multi sunburn. So it is like hydrating and sunscreen and even tone up at the same time because as you can see in the middle it's white so I don't know I just like the effect that this this bar creates so this is my favorite one okay so to summarize if your mind is a mess right now because you already saw a lot of products and you can decide which one is the best for you I will tell you how and when I personally use each one of them but remember that this is just personal choice and you can use whatever sunscreen for whatever occasion you want and yes most of them are designed for reapplication that's why they have a smaller and more portable format that's why again i love korean brands because you have a lot of different options and types for different occasions but at the end of the day you can use them as your main sunscreen if you want to like you can use whatever sunscreen type as your main sunscreen or for reapplication, like it's up to you. Okay, so I will show you my personal sunscreen choices and daily routine. So each morning I'm waking up and the first time I will do is doing my skincare. And if I'm going to stay home, I'm going to apply this sunscreen for face and for neck. Now it's afternoon, whatever I'm going out. So it's time for this sunscreen. 
so I will use this one and then I will do my makeup and before leaving my house I will use of course my goddess Hawaiian Tropic for the whole body you can use the cream or the spray type usually if I have to hurry up I will use the spray because it is so easy and so fast I just have to spray everything and I'm done but if you have more time you can use the cream I will use sunscreen for literally my whole body if you are wearing a short top crop or whatever you have to use sunscreen for your waist and your belly area same with shoulders if I'm wearing a shirt like this I will use sunscreen for my shoulder area and before leaving my house I have to take the final decision which is which reapplication sunscreen to take with me of course it will depend most of the times of my bag I will carry with me a bigger bag I will use probably this one these three are so small so you can use them for whatever bag I guess if I have a very small bag I will use this one okay guys so that's it hope you get a lot of value from this video and had helped you to choose the best sunscreen for you and also raise awareness of the importance of the sunscreen as well if so please consider subscribing to this channel for more skincare tips or makeup and fashion inspo because it will help me a lot and it will cheer me up a lot oh my god my voice thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video bye bye